there's a lot of terminology and jargon in biology, and we really have to have a pretty solid understanding of that terminology in order to understand things like transcription and translation. So when we're talking about molecular biology and this flow of information, we know that DNA is going to be found in the nucleus of the cell. And DNA can be used as a template to make more DNA. If we think about it, when our cells divide, one of the things that has to happen is that the DNA in that one cell has to be copied. So that then when that one cell becomes two cells, each of them has a copy of the DNA. Otherwise, if the DNA wasn't copied, we would end up with one cell that still had the DNA and the other cell that didn't have any DNA. And that's not going to be conducive to life, right? So that DNA has to be copied. And the process of copying DNA is called replication. Now that word makes sense, right? Because if you replicate something, you create a copy of it. So we call it DNA replication. Now DNA can also be used as a template to make messenger RNA or mRNA. And the process of making messenger RNA using DNA as a template is called transcription. Now that is, uh, you know, sounds like a complicated science-y word, but if you break it down, you know, if you transcribe something, what do you do? You, you rewrite it. And that's actually sort of what's happening here where we start with DNA as a template and we use that DNA to make a copy of the messenger RNA. So we rewrite it. Um, and so then we have messenger RNA. Now messenger RNA is going to be used to create a protein. And the process of using messenger RNA to encode a protein is called translation. Now, why do we call it translation? Well, if you think about it, translation means we're changing from one language to another. And that's exactly what's happening when the ribosome binds to this messenger RNA. It's reading in one language and it is creating the protein out of a different language. And what do I mean by that? Well, messenger RNA is made up of nucleotides, just like DNA is, right? So when we use DNA as a template, we transcribe it into messenger RNA. We're rewriting it in the same language. DNA is made of nucleotides. RNA is made of nucleotides. But when that ribosome binds onto the messenger RNA, it reads the nucleotides and it assembles a protein made out of amino acids. Okay, so DNA and RNA are made of nucleotides, but proteins are made out of amino acids. Okay, so the process of translation is when the ribosome uses that messenger RNA, reads along the nucleic acid, the RNA, and uses that information to assemble a protein out of amino acids. So, you know, when I was first learning about all these terms, I had trouble keeping them straight, but sort of revisiting that logic in my head about transcription means to rewrite something and it's in the same language, right? So DNA and RNA, they're in the same language, the language of nucleic acids and nucleotides. But translation is actually changing the molecules, the language from nucleic acids to amino acids because it's amino acids that create the protein. Okay, so try to keep this in mind. And after a while, you'll start getting better at oh, transcription, translation, replication, using those terms. Uh, but to be honest, sometimes I make a mistake and use the wrong one too sometimes, you know? So it happens. We just try our best. 